Hey, this is Eran Stern, and in this episode I'll discuss some nice light tricks in After Effects. Using Cast Shadows only mode and some light transmission, we will be able to achieve this crime scene opener look. Our journey begins in Photoshop, where I open this garage photo and using filter vanishing point, I've created a perspective grid for it, and we will export this grid into After Effects. Now, I'm not going to cover this feature here in great detail, but if you want to learn more about this, I strongly recommend watching Aaron Rabinovich's tutorial on vanishing point in After Effects CS3. You can also own this tutorial with more great stuff, all included in Aaron's new DVD, After Effects The Next Level Volume 2. For more details, check training.creativecow.net. Anyway, back to our parking garage. Now that you finish to build your geometrics perspective out of it, Photoshop will build a scene for you automatically. But first you need to export it from this little tiny menu, choose export for After Effects CS3 dot vanishing point exchange. Choose your destiny and I suggest to create a new folder for it. Now choose save and wait until Photoshop will do its thing. Now you can cancel out of this and come back into After Effects to import this data. Back inside After Effects, you need to go under a file and under import and choose vanishing point. Now navigate to your folder and choose the parking.vanishing point exchange file. Choose open and it will open up in a new comp. If you double click this comp, you will see that you get exactly what you had in Photoshop, but now you also have a parent and a camera. Before we will start to navigate inside our scene, let's first change this composition by going under Composition Settings and we will choose the PAL dimension. I will also change the name and I will also set a different duration. In my case, I will choose 6 seconds and I will say OK. So now we have a PAL composition with all the information that we created inside Photoshop. Now let's create our camera move, so select the camera and using the camera tools I will hit C until I get to the track tool and just make sure that I will see a little bit more of my scene. Something like this I think will work very nicely and you can also rotate a little bit just in order to see this wall maybe something like this. I want to see a little bit more of the ceiling. I think this will do and maybe we can track a little bit further. Now we want to record an animation for the camera, so I will select the camera and open its properties, and I will record the keyframe in point of interest and position. Now I will go to 5 seconds in my timeline, switch the camera tool again to the orbit tool, and just make sure that we will just do something like this, so we will see a little bit more of the scene, and we can also maybe just zoom in a little bit. So something like this should really work in our purpose. So this is our basic camera movement and this itself is really amazing that we managed to pull it off from a 2D image. But we want to maybe add some more elements and play with light as promised. So I will drill down the camera option and I will also shut the eye for the parent. I just don't want to see it over there. And let's add some more elements into our scene here. Okay, the first two elements that I want to add is our titles, the crime and chaos titles, which are equivalent to a different TV series you probably know. So in order to do so in the most elegant way, I will open a new composition. I will name this composition crime and, and choose OK. Now let's select the text tool. I'm using a free font named Viper Nora, which is a free font and you can easily find it in the internet. Anyway, let's place our cursor here and start to 
type crime let's hit enter and the word end let's select the word end and reduce each size to maybe 80 pixels also using alt and the down cursor I will change the leading of this phone to something like this now I will change back to the arrow tool and just position my text somewhere here at the left side of the screen now we will create a new comp and this will be our second title and we will name this one chaos say ok and let's again select the same font we will type in something around 175 and just type in the word chaos select your arrow tool and make sure it's somewhere in the left area of the screen in this case I also want to change the color so I will say something like a dark brown orange color to it something like this and I think this looks very well and now you can actually close both of these comps and return to our main comp we can also close the paragraph and the character palettes because we don't need to use them anymore what we want to do now is identify this wall and the floor wall duplicate them and replace them with the titles that we just created so let's first do it for the wall this is parky 6 which is represent this layer this is the wall layer go under edit and choose duplicate now once this is still selected make sure the crime and titles are selected as well in the project panel and you can either hold down alt or option and just drag it on top of the other or make sure it's still selected in the project panel and in the timeline and use command plus option or control plus alt plus the forward slash and it will replace the layer with the new content so now we have the crime and words instead of the letters that we just duplicate now let's modify it a little bit so I will press S and shift P in order to isolate the scale and position properties first let me just scale it a little bit because it came out pretty big then we might want to adjust its Z position just a little bit so it will be in front of our wall now let's record our animation for this layer so I will hold down shift and change the Y value so this layer will look like it's coming from above I will place this keyframe here at 0 seconds and in 215 something like this I will make sure it will be in the resting position I think that something like this we might want to change it later but this looks very good to me also I will make sure that I will easy ease into this keyframe by selecting it and choose shift plus f9 also let's make sure that for the camera we will do the same thing so i will hit u in order to reveal the camera keyframes and select the last keyframes and choose shift plus f9 it will just easy ease the motion into the scene so this is what we have now the crime and word is going into our scene and just resting in this position let's close down the camera and also close the triangle for the layer itself and let's add a new light to the scene in order to relight our environment so let's choose under layer new and we will create a new light this will be a point light and I will also want to make it a little bit kind of a yellowish tint to it a bright yellow just to colorize the scene in the same go we will make sure we will name it point so we will know exactly what it is and in this point of time I don't want to cast any shadows from this light so I will choose OK and now we will see that this light introduced a lot of depth and realism into the shot so I will just drag it a little bit in order to relight it better and maybe even place it a little bit higher also a good idea will be to select the crime end and change its blend mode to overlay I think it will really hold down the shot and while this moves you see the colors in the letters are reacting to the wall itself so this is the first part here and in part two of this tutorial we'll add the chaos title and I'll show you a neat way how to use After Effects built-in light in order to project it on the floor in the meantime I'll just wait for you here in the corner of this parking garage all alone in the dark 
don't forget me here. Please come back soon and watch the second part. This is Eran's turn for creativecow.net and I'm not afraid of the dark.